Hello everyone! In this video I show you how to disassemble the lens unit of the Canon PowerShot G7X camera after it has been removed from the camera body. Recently I had this camera which had problems with the lens. So I had to disassemble the camera, disassemble the lens unit, repair the lens and then assemble the lens unit and the camera. In this video I show you how to disassemble the lens unit. If you are interested in disassembly or assembly of the camera or assembly of the lens unit then the links are in the description below. Before I will start, let me talk about the tools that I will use to disassemble the lens unit. I will use a PH30 screwdriver and a metal tweezers. If you are interested in buying them, then the links are in the description below. I hope this video will be useful, helpful, informative and adds value to you. If that's the case, please like this video, subscribe to my channel or send me a donation. The links are in the description below. If you have anything to add to this video, then share it in the comment section below. Also, there's an update section in the description. If I have anything to add to this video after it has been posted, then I add it there. So I would highly recommend to check it. So, let's get started. This is the lens unit of the G7X, which will be disassembled. First, disconnect the flex cables. Remove the two screws. Undo the clips on the side of the lens unit. This is the zooming motor and that is the sensor. Now 
release that flex cable. The next step is to remove the focusing mechanism. There are three pins which are holding it. Use metal tweezers to pop out the pins. This is the focusing mechanism. Remove that plastic cover if you have to kill in the lens element. Zoom a little bit out, in that way the flex cables could be removed. Zoom until you see the hole where the flex cables go through. Very carefully pull out the flex cables. Remove the outer lens sleeve. Zoom back the lens unit completely. The next step is to remove this cover ring. There are three pins which are holding it. Pop out the plastic cover ring. Zoom the lens back completely and now as the ring has been removed you can turn the outer sleeve a little bit further and then it can be removed. The next step is to remove the inner lens cover tube. We have two options to do that. Zoom out almost completely until you can see the three holder pins which are holding the inner lens cover tube. In the video you can see those here. Those pins are in line with the line of the outer side of the lens, as you can see it here. You can undo those pins through the cutout of the outer lens tube, then the inner lens cover tube can be removed. The number two option is to push the inner lens elements out towards the rear of the lens. This is what I'm going to do now. First, you have to zoom back completely where this pin is at the end of the cutout. And then push out the inner lens elements.
and now undo those three pins which are holding the outer lens cover tube. Slide out the outer lens cover tube. Remove the front lens element. At the end of this cutout, the front lens element just slides out. Notice that there is a hole on the lens and there is a lever inside the front lens element and those two should be connected when the lens is being assembled. Rotate the front of the lens counterclockwise to the end and then the front lens element can be pulled out. The next step is to remove the ND filter unit. The ND filter has three pins which are sliding in the rails of the inner lens barrel. This is one of the rails where the teeth of the ND filter unit are sliding in. While the lens is at the same position where the front lens element was removed, the aperture unit can slide out from the inside of the lens. This is how the two lens parts were connected. The next step is to remove the aperture unit. The aperture unit should slide out through this rail towards the front of the lens. Rotate the inner lens barrel until you see that rail and push out the aperture unit. There are two lens barrels inside and the inner lens barrel has three pins which are sliding in the outer lens barrel. Notice that there are two cutouts of the rails next to each other and the pin of the inner lens tube should be rotated to the cutout of the rail which is on the right side. We just finished disassembling the lens unit. Join me in the next video where I show you how to assemble the lens. Link is in the description below. 
I hope this video was useful, helpful, informative and added value to you. If that's the case, please like this video, subscribe to my channel or send me a donation. The links are in the description below. If you have anything to add to this video, then share it in the comment section below. So, thank you very much for watching my video and see you next time in my other videos.